be here at Chinhara Farm in St John's, the Manx Style Ploughing Championship. I'm secretary of the Manx Style Ploughing Club, which was started when the landlord of this place died, Mr Charlie Kane. There's a couple of novices here this year. There's one in the horse class and one in the tractor class, ploughing first time in the Manx Style. The fields are all set out, they're marked out on Monday, and the butt numbers put in, and the ploughmen drew for their butts to see where they were ploughing. Then they put their markers in, so to get a straight line between this headland and the far headland, and do two scrapes. Well, some of them take this front sock off. That's what they, we call a sock, or some people call them a share, and they take that front one off, so they don't have to tilt the plough over so far to stop turning it back again when they come back down because you're only doing the scrape with that back footer and put it on to do the buy where they use this front footer comes in. Unless Billy gives a shout now you'll see Cap will not look round. He gets his eye on them sticks and that's how you go up them sticks like you see. And when they get up the top they set the plough to come down again and do another one turned into there so that they fit together. This is very technical, it's all to measure and everything is to measure. And where were you getting these measurements from? I'll show you oh, in a minute. So where where have you put it on that side? Yeah. On the edge of the out to the disc you see. Thirty three and a half inches, we want twenty nine and a half. Ah. So we got the shoulder plow over you have to shift the track there then cap. Right. Oh, are you far too far over? We're taking the lifting arm off so we can get the right angle on the plough to make a narrower scrape. Some people take a sock off, yeah. but we've always done it this way. The two by fours will come in, and if it's too high, they'll sit too high. You'll see that when we do the the next round. So we go up on one side and down on the other side to press that down so the bifurters lie leveler. How is he pressing it down? With, With the, the wheel. Tire. Because you see the difference between that and that is about two inches. So if we put the bifurter over on top of that it'll be sitting too high. When you roll it down the two bifurters will fall in better. Can you point out where the next yeah. Uh, the, wheel, the wheel and the trash will go there and then up here. And the next cut will be where it's left. Taken ten, 10 inches there and 10 inches there and that will turn over. If it ploughs right, what we call top and seed bed, the top is 5 inches and the seed bed should be 5 inches and that measures 10 inches. Yeah. And we've got to plough 10 inches, 10 by 6. Yeah. Not 10 and a quarter, 10 by 6. You may think it's impossible, but it's not. <laughs> That's what they call the knives he's putting on now. There'll be two footers, he'll be cutting two footers over now. The first footer, where the first disc is, I'll be cutting ten inches out. The body turns it over. Manx ploughing is where they have like castellations on the footer. Like the tractors plough ten inch footers. Turn it 10 inches over and they have the knives and the backs on and it takes 5 inches out. So you've got like castellations every 5 inches. And that was in the middle, it's the seed bed. That's the knives here, you see. These are what cuts the castellations in. And the boat, the two boats on and one at the back there, one there. They just clean the seed bed out. making it look pretty. That's about it, you got it. And would you have to do this every... Well, not, not a normal car, you know, just in this. How do you think that's gone so far? It's not good at all. Well, what are you judging here? We're looking at the bar here, this, this which, is, which is the start. There's several problems with it. The, the collar shed has been running here where it should be running down, down, down there, there in the middle. and the cutter is, is, is coming too far out so the whole thing needed to move over um, and because it's in the wrong place you've got all these big gaps down the side which uh, 
the seed. Would lose the seed. The seed would go down far too deep. And it would never, it would, never it germinate. Germinate and come up. Whereas over here, they've got <laughs> two ex mag style champions who know what they're doing. This is much closer to what you want. There's still a little bit here where it? the polisher is, is is not quite right. It's just cutting away a little bit on the edge, but it's much much but closer to right. The, it's all packed right, so yeah. there's nowhere where the seed is going to drop down, is there? So you look in, in the gaps between the, the tops of the furrows, there's not so many cracks for the seed to fall down um, because it's, it's been properly done. You, you've got the polishers running here and the, and the cutter uh, cutting away at the right place, which makes it a lot better. There's a range of, of things that you've got to do. The easiest one, uh, and one of the competitors is going to fail on this, is the ins and outs, which is basically the edge, the ends of the ploughing. You can see this this plot. They've they've done a reasonable job of trying to keep the ins and outs level with the edge. The next one not quite so good, but the very far end, they've they've just not bothered at all. Um, so they'll not be getting too many marks for ins and outs. Um, but the rest of it is fairly obvious. You've got the by, which is the first few furrows, and how that actually combines. It, it's, it, it needs to look level, when you level look with the rest of the ploughing, basically. That's the, the primary think, thing. Width is obvious, the width of the furrows. Um, now, we're told by the steward that it's 9 inch by 5 inch, but this plot is 10 inch by 6 inch, the middle plot is 9 inch by 5 inch and the far plot is 10 inch by 6 inch so and we'll, we'll have to we'll, we'll have, have to work to, out what we're going to do about that. What we're going to do with that at the moment. Um, Packing uh, is how well the furrows sit on each other so when you walk over the furrows they should all hold up they shouldn't flop down. Yeah, they should all um, sit down the same distance. Uh, the seed bed uh, Bob was very well describing just before if there's cracks the seed will just fall down so that's no good it needs to be smooth there don't need to be too many cracks straightness is pretty obvious is it straight and none of them are straight today for whatever reason appearance as well appearance, overall yeah. appearance when they finish and then the final one is the finish or the clash so what's the finish well just what imagine you? here you've got your big wheel here and the light wheel on the on the land there's a bit of weight on of pressure on the big wheel as you go on up which just holds the plough in the right place. Imagine though, when you get to the finish, there's nothing there. So you've got two furrows width like that, with no no lip of, of soil to put your big wheel against, which is complicated. So what you have to do on your last furrow down, you go a little bit lighter. So you've actually got a lip of soil, maybe about uh, two, two, two or three inches uh, deep of soil because you've lightened the furrows on the far side of the ploughing um, so that means that you're ploughing the normal depth on your last two furrows coming out but on the, the furrows coming down the hill they were just a bit lighter and you've got to do that in such a way that it appears as though it's all even and the hardest thing in the world when you've got one furrow left is not to make that one furrow sit up too high it takes quite a skill not to do that so the finish is very complicated, almost as complicated as the buy. The th main thing is, if you're going to do Manx style, the main thing is to get the plough ploughing too nice even for us first, without any knives or backs on, and get that ploughing nice and even. And then you can put your backs on and cut your slices out then. Your plough has got to be right first. It's like an artist. You've got to have the gift for it, like. Patience. Patience, take your time. It's done right. Yeah.